is David. Welcome back to the last video in this series. We are on part two of the final lesson number six of the tutorial from Angular.io. And we've, we've gone through a lot. We've built out this Tour of Heroes application with a dashboard. We can click on these things and uh, go back. We have a list of all the heroes. We can Here's all the heroes. We can add a new hero to it. Let's add David Giard, like that. There he is down there. We can delete him, because who needs that guy? We can delete existing ones, and they stay deleted right there. Um, we can uh, modify a hero, changing their name here, and save that, and so on. So it's all very cool. Uh, the last thing we want to do is add search to this. And let's do that here. We're going to go to our dashboard. That's this thing right here. And I have this HTML right here. Or modify it. So the dashboard HTML is there. And really all we're doing was just adding this API hero search. So we're going to add a component called API hero search. That'll be the selector for it. Or I'm sorry, apps hero search. That'll be the selector for it. Let's add that component. Right here it's called Hero Search, actually, is technically the, the name of it. Right here, and that creates all the files that we need the HTML, which is the template, uh, a test file, a TypeScript file, and a CSS file. And they all complain, com contain boilerplate stuff. So uh, here it is, right here, those, those files. Uh, let's change it from boilerplate to something useful. In the HTML template, we'll add this. So now we have uh, from our, a list of heroes, which we're going to get asynchronously. This uh, dollar sign indicates that it's just a naming convention right here. And uh, where does it say here? indicates that it's an observable and not an array. All right. Um, and then we'll loop through that and add a link to each hero ID. How about that? That'll work. Uh, in our component, let's add some code there. And what do we have in here? We've got a method called search that takes in a string and then calls search terms, uh, which is, looks like we haven't created that yet. Oh yeah, we have search terms up here. Um, and uh, the subject is actually a uh, RxJS thing. We also have in our constructor, we're injecting in the hero service and then when we init this, then we're going to set up the search terms to say every 300 milliseconds we're going to check and if anything has changed in our search then we're going to call switch map and this dot we'll call this dot hero service dot search hero so this search heroes we haven't created yet that's why it's on and squiggly lines right here. So our next step is to create the search heroes method in hero service. And that code is, uh, it looks like I skipped it. It was actually up above here. So let me grab that and put it into our hero service down here and create that method right here. Did I skip anything else? Um, well, let's take a look at that here, first of all. So just it passes in a string. It's called a term is the parameter name. And we just trim all the spaces off of, of it. And um, yeah, if it's empty, if there's nothing in it but, but spaces, then we'll return an empty array. But if there is something, then we'll call http.get and uh, api slash heroes slash name equals, so we'll filter that list by the name, and it's a single equal, so it'll be partial match, uh, whatever term we put in here. 
and then we just like all of our methods we're going to tap into logging and add error handling here as well so that should work now we come through here and uh, let's see we've got all that we did this and right here it says add a private CSS I don't know why they didn't list the CSS right here but it's actually down below for the hero search component dot CSS so I'll come down to that at the bottom and right there is the hero search component CSS I'll copy that and paste it into this which when we generated it's all empty and if I come back up to where I was I think we've done everything else already um, we added this code let's just walk through the code here as does this I think we're ready to go let's just make sure that we've done a save all come on over here I'll refresh it just because I feel like refreshing it and now here's my search box right here so if I type in N anything with letter N shows up here and if I type in A anything with NA if I type in M only Dynama actually will show up here let me refresh this because I've got some old data in there and I'll instead specify N A R for example right here and that shows up and there's Narco click on that it takes me directly to Narco and I can change that to be Natco how about that save it go back and now in a R returns nothing because Nat it's now Natco so here we go we've got the whole thing going with the dashboard and the list of heroes the ability to edit the ability to add the ability to delete the ability to show these messages, clear these messages, go into details, go back to where we came from. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you want to go through it at your own pace, then once again, angular.io is the place. Just click on Get Started. The basics are right here, but the tutorial right here is what I've walked through over the last few videos. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed it. This is David. Thank you for watching.